Hey everybody, it's Melissa and in this video I'm going to be giving you my full review and my honest review as always of Original Santal by Creed. Alright, so this has been my scent of the day I think twice in a row, if not three times in a row. And I know that that might not sound, oh my god, that might not sound like a big deal. But for me, a lot of the times, especially when I'm trying samples of fragrances, I... Like, I try them, and a lot of the times I don't really like the way that they end up on me, so I wash them off and I never think about them again. But this scent, the fact that I've worn it back to back willingly, even though I have a lot of fragrances that, or a few fragrances that I'd much rather wear on a daily basis, that, that stands out. That stands out about this scent. So Original Santal is quickly becoming one of my favorite Creed scents. And the thing is, I've grown a new appreciation for the brand Creed just because like a lot of the scents, at least the ones that I've tried recently that you might have seen in my past videos, they fit different situations and personalities really, really well. So they're such an easy kind of recommendable brand just because anybody can find a scent that they like there. And I'm not really talking about, you know, people really into this hobby, like the niche heads that have collector's items. I'm sure that they might enjoy some creeds as well, but for... You know, your typical person walking into Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom and they get captivated by this brand, it's very easy to find a scent there that you gel with. So for that reason, I, I, I find them to be just a good recommendable niche brand, if you will. So Original Santal is marketed as a unisex fragrance. And on me, I well, first of all, I didn't know who it was marketed to. With all my scents, I, I like to blind smell them, right? So I actually kind of thought this was a more feminine leaning fragrance. Come to find out it is more unisex and some people find it more masculine. And that's just the funny thing about skin chemistry is it could smell completely different on you than it does on somebody else. And what the internet might say might not be your experience with it, right? So that's kind of how I feel about this fragrance. And it is probably the best sandalwood fragrance to hit my skin. Because I've tried some sandalwood smells and honestly, they've been, they've been all right, but the way that they've dried down has gone too powdery and it's gone like too mature on my skin and I never really ended up liking them. But this scent, I get this blast of, I think it's lavender that gives it some freshness in the opening and even just, it's, it's there a little bit, probably within the first couple hours of the fragrance on me. But the sandalwood is definitely the main star here. And then as it dries down, of course, there's some musk that mixes in and also some tonka bean because there is still a powdery element to this fragrance, but not in a, your grandma's powder makeup type of way, but just in like a, like a, how do I even explain it? Not a powdered sugar way, just a, a little bit powdery, but not mature. All right, that's simply put, that's the best way I can describe it. Now, there are other notes in this fragrance, I believe, like ginger, coriander, maybe bergamot and, and some fresh things like that. But truthfully, I don't smell those on my skin. The ones that I went into, into detail with, with that sandalwood, some of the tonka bean, the musk, the lavender, that's really what pops off on me. And as far as wear time goes with Original Santal, I got about noticeably between four to five hours. However, I know that sounds low, but that was me using only three sprays from this tiny little vial right here, okay? So I can only assume that if I had a full-size bottle of that scent, it would definitely smell, I mean, the longevity would be better. And that's just, kind of common sense with it the more fragrance you spray the more it latches on and the, like the longer it would last right so just remember that when i'm saying the four to five hours that's off of this small sample i have yet to give it a full wear with the full size bottle of that all right but it's honestly a very decent fragrance it lasts it's i find it to be more of an intimate scent when i've worn it and you've seen me apply it whether it was on my lives or on a video that I did with a couple sprays, it was you know behind one, one ear, then the back of my neck, and it was still hiding behind my hair. So I haven't worn this in a way to really gauge the full projection of the fragrance, um, but in a way that I just really enjoy how it smells throughout the day for me. Because I'll catch whiffs of it and I'll be like, dang, it smells so high class. It smells very rich. 
It smells elegant. It smells clean. It's the type of fragrance you wear that automatically kind of boosts your mood in a way that you're like, okay, yeah, I got this. You know what I'm saying? It, it adds a little bit of that confident factor, confidence factor to you when you're wearing a scent like this because it just smells not typical in the way that you might smell perfumes on, on a day-to-day -day basis. You know what I'm saying? Typically, when I'm around people, at least, a lot of women tend to wear like the floral, fresh fragrances, or sometimes those Chanel scents, so they're, they're more on the traditional side. And with guys, I smell one of two scents. It's either Dior Sauvage or Bleu de Chanel. So with a scent like Original Santal that is a unisex fragrance and can play very well depending on your skin chemistry with it, whether you're a girl or a guy, I think that this is a lovely scent to have in your collection because it it would smell amazing with casual wear, but it'd smell even better if you were just a smidge bit dressed up, whether you're in a button down, right? And this goes for, for anybody, right? Like a button down, or maybe you're in like a sundress, or maybe you're in a suit. You will smell so good with this scent. It's the type of fragrance that would make a fantastic first impression. Whether you're shaking hands with somebody, meeting them for the first time over a business dinner or lunch, or you're catching up with some friends, dur friends during brunch and you give them a hug, they'll be like, oh, damn, you smell good. Like I said, it has that high class, eloquent feel to it that I really, really, really rock with. And I do have my first impression video of this fragrance posted on my channel so you can really see how I was feeling about it. But throughout the day, when I applied it, I remember I sprayed it right here. Throughout the day, I just kept bringing it back to that. I was like, dang. This thing is fire. The other Creed scents I still rocked with really well, but for some reason I've really, like this one just caught my attention the most out of everything. It's the one that I just kept going back to. So I find it to be very addicting. I think still a great date fragrance as well. It's one of those scents that, you know, let's say you're, 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 a, grown, you're a grown adult, all right? You have a full on work day and you have a date with somebody right after, but you don't have time to go to your house, your apartment, your condo to get changed, to freshen up, but you wore this as your work scent of the day. And you know, you still look good because you're in, you know, you're, you're, you're dressed for work, right? A little business casual, if you will. So when you go on that date and you smell like this, I promise you, they like they will love the way you smell. I don't see how this is a fragrance you can truly hate unless it might go too powdery on you or you're just like really not a fan of, of sandalwood. But overall, a great first impression fragrance, a great signature scent. I do find this to be very versatile with all four seasons where of course, if you wore it in the winter, it's not gonna last as long as you wearing it in the spring, but it's not gonna smell off base in the winter where people are like, whoa, what are you wearing? But that's the good thing about the colder months like fall and winter is you could still wear fresh fragrances. They're not gonna feel out of place, but just know the longevity isn't really gonna be there. Now, I know that people kind of hate on the longevity of Creed fragrances and I get it, right? The price point is pretty hefty. So when things don't really last, it doesn't seem to be worth it. But what I think people should understand is that a lot of Creed scents, they do really good at fresh fragrances. And as always, fresh fragrances perform better in warm weather, right? So with Creed scents, I don't think you should expect the beast mode fragrance. I don't really think they're into synthetic notes like that. A lot of the times they're using natural ingredients and natural ingredients aren't gonna last as long as your synthetics, right? So the comparison I like to use to kind of put things into perspective is if you're expecting a fresh fragrance to perform well, in the wintertime, that's like expecting a rose to bloom from the snow. Why would a rose never bloom from the snow? Because it's just, it can't survive that sort of weather, right? So it's it's the same thing with fresh scents in cold weather. People in, that live in predominantly cold places complain about longevity with stuff, and they're like, oh, it's not worth it. It doesn't even last. Well, because it's a fresh scent. In, in, you know what I'm saying? So that's just the DNA of these fragrances. So keep that in mind if you're considering it. You can overspray it. You can put Molecule 1 with it if you will. 
And y'all, I will have a discount link for this fragrance in the comment section below. It's going to be pinned. Right now it's Saturday. And that sale I was telling y'all about, that 65%, well, up to 65% off sale, is still happening right now. It ends on Sunday. It is only available to the U.S., I will say that um, there is no global shipping at the moment, but the second I find out about global shipping, I will let y'all know, all right? So if you want to take advantage of this fragrance, I think I saw the tester for 3.3 millimeters, milliliters. I was thinking about chains also. Milliliters, that is going, I think, for $205 without the coupon code. So I'll put the coupon code information there too if you want an additional 10% off. But for all of you that are thinking, should I get a tester? Is that even legit? Of course, yeah, testers are legit, all right? So they typically sometimes don't come with, you know, the box like this, right? So Mon Guerlain, if you got a tester of this, it probably won't come in the same exact box. It might lack the cap, but it's still the same exact juice. And yes, y'all, it is authentic and legit. I would never, ever put a link or give you guys a site that is scammy or fishy that would completely not only ruin my reputation with y'all but why on earth would i do that you know what i'm saying i'm not going to send y'all to like so that's why i know people have said well you can find it cheaper on ebay why aren't you recommending us like stuff on ebay for like under 150 dollars and the thing is if you want to buy on ebay you absolutely can y'all but just for me i would there's so much sketch business that happens on those sites. There are legit people. Please don't get me wrong. So if you have a trusted seller, use that person, right? But for me to tell my following, oh yeah, guys, just, just get it on eBay. You can find it for $150 and I send a screenshot of it. And it's there's just a lot of, there's too much stuff you have to filter and siphon through that is adds an unnecessary stress. So for me, Everything that I link for y'all is 100% legit. You can go to sleep comfortably knowing that, okay, I bought a legit authentic product and it's not fake, it's not watered down. All of that, you know, notion that sometimes gets thrown in the air with discount sites. That's not anything that I would link for y'all. Everything, again, a million percent legit, all right? So I will have the discount link for this scent there and the other creeds that are on sale. Y'all could take a look at that, take advantage of it, buy the fragrance that you want. Because whenever I go into Nordstrom and I see the Creed prices, people are always hovering around that section, y'all. And they see the prices like, damn, $450, $495, $425, that's steep. And they obviously want the fragrance because it smells good. But the price point turns them away. And this presents a really good opportunity for those people that go in person and are looking for a really good way to get ha their hands on a bottle of a fragrance from Creed that they want, knowing that they're getting an authentic product. All right, so again, link for that in the comment section and in the description box below. It is an affiliate link if you want to support the channel, but please buy where you're comfortable. I made it as easy as possible to just click the link and it takes you straight to the sale. You don't have to go on Google and research it and then try to find, okay, what's the right tab for this? Is this the right site? Everything is just to your easiest convenience, all right? But y'all, let me know what you think about Original Santal and give me your experience with it, how you feel about it, how long you've had it, if you want it, if you don't like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.